So say here, which which of the following is a stretch exponential decay function? So it says here stretch exponential decay function. So with we'll stretch exponential decay function, let's look at number one here. So a here says that this is four fifths times four over five to the power of x. Is this a um, exponential decay, stretch decay function, stretch exponential decay function? So what we have to do first, we have to, we have to, we have to think about what is an exponential, what is a decay, or what is a stretch, right? So let's think about these questions first. Actually, let me erase a. Now let's think about just this problem here before we even go to the answers here. So the, the term stretch means that my my graph here is horizontally or vertically stretching, right? When we talk about a, a vertical stretch in particular, if I look at my answers here, I'm only affecting my, um, my, uh, my this is affecting the A value. So I'm talking about a vertical stretch. When we talk about a vertical stretch, a vertical stretch means that it has to be greater than one, right? A has to be greater than one for me to fulfill this here. So if I look at my graphs here, A is greater than one, which means A here is wrong and C here is, uh, or A and B are wrong here, right? Because these are not, these four fifths is not greater than one, it's 0 0.8, which means these two are the incorrect answer for these ones. So it's, we're looking at C and D now. C and D has, has a value of, which is of A equals um, greater than one, but it does it have an exponential decay. So when we talk about exponential decay, we're talking about the base has to be between zero and one, right? My base of my function has to be between, and I'll say the base would be, let's say B. B has to be between zero and one, right? To get exponential decay, right? If you recall an, ex an exponential, exponential increase function would something be like uh, Y equals two to the power X, right? For, but for a decay function here, it looks like something like this. And this here would be like Y equals half of X or half to the power of X or something like that. This here is an exponential decay. This is what we're looking for. This is a decay function. And this is an increasing exponential function. So we're looking at that. If B has to be between zero and one, which means between C and D, only D is my correct answer, right? A is greater than one, one five over four is greater than one, and four fifths is between zero and one. So in this case, D, or D here is my correct answer for a stretch exponential decay function. So let's look at our answer here. It says Y equals AB, where A is a scaling factor, which is the vertical stretch factor, that's good. Um, B is the base greater than zero, and X is, a, is the exponent where it's X and exponential function, right? So they're saying that Y equals A, b to the power of x which is good if a is greater than one then the exponential exponential function will stretch if a is less than one then it'll be compressed if actually a is less than one it has to be um it's actually so this here this here is actually the condition here is wrong right when we say uh the exponential function is compressed we're just saying that it's between a has to be between zero and one for it to be compressed not just less than one so this is a compression because if it had a negative value in this case, it would actually reflect along the x-axis and also be stretched, right? So you can either, you should add the absolute value bar here or just say if it's between zero and one. If B is greater than one and it's exponential good, I'm um, called growth, that's good. That's another word for increasing function. If it's between zero and one, it's the decay function, that's good. To, fi to find a stretch and decay function, we need A is greater than one and B has to be between zero and one, hence D is the correct answer, good. This is a great solution, great solution. And analysis. I'm gonna. I'm just going to correct their um, uh, their their if statement here. Uh, the statement there is incorrect. It's incorrect because um, a has to be between zero and one. Because if compression, or so this is a vertical compression. Vertical compression exists when it's between zero and one here not just not not a is less than one because there can there exists a because if it's a negative integer um then you get a reflection right so that, so that, uh, that's the only reason why i'm saying this here uh green solution analysis however is yeah so i'm gonna i'm just gonna solution is <laughs>